All right, if you've driven on some of San Diego's uneven pothole filled roads, you don't need a report to know that they are failing. But a new assessment basically says that. Today, city leaders unveiled the new state of the roads report. It found our streets are in worse shape now than they were seven years ago. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell is out at the Choya Operations Yard. Danny, it looks like you're ready to get out there and fix the roads yourself. Now that we have this report saying how bad things are, the city says they can do more to actually fix it. Hi, Jared. Yes, that's right. And that is why I am here where the city's public transportation department meets every day to get to work on the more than 6,000 miles of roadway that it maintains. Now, like you just mentioned, the city underwent an assessment. That assessment is called the Pavement Condition Index. And here is what the city of San Diego scored. It's right here on this chart. We scored a 63, which means it's fair. It's on a scale from 0 to 100, 0 being failed, 100 being good. Every street in every neighborhood was reviewed and the data collected that has given us a better understanding of the overall condition of our road network. And I'm sorry to report that we're not where we desire to be. It's been seven years since the city lasted an assessment on its road conditions like this, and the city score actually dropped nine points below its previous score, and it ranks below industry standard. But you know what? There is good news. The city reports that last year it fixed 254 miles of roadway, filled more than 61,000 potholes, which is a 94% increase from 2022, and that costed around $140 million. But the city's director for the transportation department says this new benchmark score could be jeopardized if the department doesn't get more funding. With known sources of funding, San Diego's pavement condition will drop to a poor PCI score of 45 in just 10 years. In order to get back to achieving the goal of an overall PCI of 70 or higher, the funding will need to be significant. The total investment of $1.9 billion will be needed over the next 10 years just for our roadway network alone. The city is asking that they they're asking for your help. They need you to continue reporting potholes because they want to continue improving this index score. The city also has a live website where you can see all of the roadway repairs and where and when it's scheduled to access the link to report a pothole and to see when those road repairs are scheduled. Visit this story on ABC 10 news.com. I'll have those links for you live at the choice operations yard. I'm Danny Miskell, ABC 10 news. Yeah, we had all those potholes last year after those storms. Thank you, Daniel.